To me, home means the place that you're drawn to. Home should, in some ways, feel like a vacation from the world. It shouldn't be some place that you want to escape from. It should be a place you want to escape to. I'm Kristen Bell, and this is my house. I grew up in Detroit. I'm the runt of three girls, and my sisters and I are all three years apart. They've seen me at my worst, they've seen me at my best. They treat me the exact same way. I'm doing this renovation for my sister Sarah. She is honestly, in my eyes, a superwoman. Always the glue and the mortar of our family. She is married to Tom, who she started dating in high school. She has four kids, she's one of the hardest workers, and never ever complains. Sarah takes on a lot of the responsibility for the whole family on her shoulders. She takes the kids to volunteer at the local animal shelter. She takes care of my grandmother, and it leaves her almost no time for herself. Getting the chance to spoil her and create a space that functions better for her family would just be such an epic surprise. And I think it's gonna be overwhelming for both of us. I'm really excited. <laughs> Sarah's house was built in the 60s. It's small-ish and it has three bedrooms, one toilet, and one tiny sink. And then there's this huge basement. Sarah set up a great couch area, toy area, but in truth, they've outgrown everything down there. The biggest portion of the basement is this huge unfinished laundry area, which is mostly just storage. And then sort of tucked into the corner is the kids' art center. And then there's an office. It's a lot of wasted space. I specifically chose the basement because Sarah hasn't had the time to reimagine it. So I just wanted to figure out a way to sort of maximize their house and make the basement some place they would all gravitate towards. Sarah's very self-sufficient. Me stepping in and saying, hey, can I have the keys to your house and give you a special surprise is a little overwhelming for her. She thought about it and she said, yeah, you know what, why not? So I've arranged that they stay out of the house during the renovation. I'm thrilled that she trusts me, and I really hope that I make the decisions that she will love and enjoy in her home. I'm 2,000 miles away. I live in Los Angeles, and Sarah lives in Detroit, so I turned to House to redesign every detail of my sister's basement. House is basically a design hub, a website and an app where you can get everything done for a renovation, start to finish. You can look at inspiration pictures, and then you can actually shop those pictures. So in choosing a designer, I went to the House website and looked at a bunch of different profiles of designers in the Detroit area. I found designer Melissa Kennedy from Meadowlark that does both the design and the build. And I thought that Melissa's aesthetic was really great. And once I looked at her profile and saw she had really amazing and stellar reviews, I knew she was the one that I wanted to trust with this project. Melissa has flown out to Los Angeles so we could meet in person to go over the design ideas for Sarah's house. So living in this three bedroom house is my sister Sarah, her husband Tom, and their four kids. But it's really tight. There's three bedrooms, there's one bathroom. And they have this amazing basement and a lot of it's not finished. The kids don't want to go down there because yeah. it's dark and it's, you know, yeah. sort of grody. So I just want to make that something that's welcoming and something that will basically double the space they have in the house. Hopefully we make it comfortable and inviting. Spaces where each kid feels like it's their own, yeah. they'll start to own it and go down there more. That would be ideal. Another thing that's really important, Lucy, my 11-year-old niece, is growing into being a teenager with three boys in the house. I feel like there's space in the basement to build her yeah. a bedroom. I think that's a great idea. I think this will give Lucy a lot of freedom to come into her own. She'll have a space where she can think about who she is and not really have to think about picking up after her brothers. Okay, and add a bathroom there so that they have a second bathroom. Let's look at some of the inspirations for the basement space then. So you put this picture in the idea book. Idea Books is a place where you can store pictures or products for your design and you can share those with other people. So Melissa and I started an idea book for each room and then we're able to pull pictures or items into each folder and then view it whenever it works for us. It saves us a ton of time where we have one design file where we can both add to it, delete, or edit. 
I think this picture, it feels like we're maximizing all of the space. Love the idea of how welcoming this couch feels. Using the inspiration from this picture with a little bit more color uh -huh. would be really ideal. Uh -huh. I really want to create a seating area that like beckons them, that just yes. feels like a gigantic bed yeah. for all of them to pile on top of each other. So this picture really resonates with me when I think about Sarah's space, and partly because the open ceiling. So let's talk about the ceiling treatment in the basement. Yeah. The, the basement at her house is a fairly low ceiling, and it gets even lower with the dropped-in ceiling that they have right yeah. now. What do you think about the open ceiling? As opposed to keeping it finished, hmm, I don't know. So House has this great function called Design Dilemma. So Design Dilemma on House can be quickly solved by posting a question. If we're undecided about where to go with the open ceiling or the closed ceiling, we can post it to the House community and get feedback. That would help me okay. make the decision, yes. Good, I'll yeah. post it. So let's look at Lucy's room. So tell me why you added this picture. I really like how there are aspects of this bedroom that can grow with her. And I also really love the like whimsical bedding to give it like a really girly feel. So let's talk a little bit about the bathroom. It will be the guest bathroom basically. I think I pulled this picture in specifically for the mirror. What do you think of that mirror? I do like that mirror. One of the great things about house is that if I find an object that I like, like this mirror, if I hover over it and a white square appears, I can click on that and it takes me to the shop on house to purchase it. Let's get it. Let's do it. And let's keep shopping. So I put this in our idea book because I know my nephews. They're wild animals. <laughs> I feel like it, they would really gravitate towards a game table. So I'd love to get one down there. Do you think I it'll think, fit? I think we can make it fit in the space, yeah. And we'll also have access to Tom, my brother-in-law. He, I know, is really excited about yeah. sort of helping deliver this for Sarah. So you are gonna feel like a member of the family because he's gonna be involved every step of the way. Okay, so I think this all looks great and I hope that we can really perfect this space and make it something that they will want to live in. Yeah, I think we can do it. I'm yeah. up for the challenge. The idea of spoiling my sister when I know how good she's been to me, it's gonna be really fun. Today, Melissa is meeting my brother-in-law, Tom, at his and Sarah's house to get started on clearing everything out before finalizing the renovation plan. Getting through today is a big deal. It's gonna take a lot of emotional energy and a lot of choices to make, what to keep, what to get rid of, what memories to hold on to. You guys moved in here how many years ago? 12. It was just the two of us, yeah. so I mean, it was perfect. Now six, mm -hmm. um, it's really, it's getting tight. This house is where they've made all their memories and now they've built this big, beautiful family, but it's just busting out of the windows of this house. This living area space is gonna be a completely open palette. All the interior walls come down, it all goes. So we'll go into the yeah, laundry this, room this area. This laundry room. Well, here's half your yeah. basement. There's a little bit of space here, right? Yeah. Kristen really wanted to give your boys a reason to come downstairs. We're gonna okay. have a wall that separates the fun room from the laundry oh, okay. room. Okay, into the office. This is gonna become Lucy's room. Wow. We're gonna be able to put an egress window in. So oh, really? right over here on this wall is gonna be a large window to let a lot of natural light in. Yeah. So it won't feel like she's in a basement bedroom. No kidding, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, it is. Anything that has meaning. This dresser, uh -huh. this was Sarah, her mom and dad, you know, they've had it shoot for years. Yeah. I know for sure Sarah would want to have this. Keep this? Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot to do to get this place cleaned out. Let's start packing. My brother Tom and Melissa are moving everything out and getting ready to start the demo. If you're ready, mm -hmm. we're gonna start by demolishing everything around here. Tom, I think, is gonna be the most excited about all of this. Every boy's dream, Good. I get to demo Good. some stuff. And we're gonna hook Tom up with a sledgehammer so he can take the first punch at the walls. Have at it. All right, cool. Let's tear it off. It's been four weeks since the renovation started on my sister's house, and today Tom and Melissa are stopping by to get a progress report. Whoa! Holy cow, look at this thing. This is crazy, look what you've <laughs> done. Where's my basement? That looks amazing. Look at this. 
Sarah had told me a few times that she likes the sort of nook bed in my living room, and it's a place where the kids always gravitate, so we wanted to build exactly that underneath their stairs. That, that is gonna be huge. The kids are gonna love that. I mean, I think that out of all this, they'll probably love to fight over that the most. So this is gonna be the living room area. Okay, so the TV's going here, right? Yeah. I kinda need HDMI cables and stuff. Running the wire would be difficult if we had already drywalled the ceiling. Chris and I have pulled the house community to ask them, should we or should we not drywall the ceiling? And in my opinion, we won. The house community has spoken. Mm -hmm. They said to leave the ceiling open. So this is gonna make it really easy for us to add HDMI cable or whatever you need. You wanna move into Lucy's room? Sure. What do you think? Oh my God, look at the window, yeah. right? It's amazing how much light is in here. Lucy's room is really developing nicely. The way that the egress window lets light into the space just really expands it. All right, so there's a ton to get done. We'll get paint samples on the wall, hopefully be able to talk with Kristen a little bit. Let's get to work. color that I think Sarah likes. Uh, so you want to call Christine? Yeah, she's done this mess so far, so let's give her a call. Yeah, let's do it. Melissa and I talk about every other day, about measurements or paint colors, things that I didn't know anything about before I started this renovation. Hi, brother. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on with you? Just in the basement that's empty. Oh my gosh. And we started to play around with some paint colors. We want to show you the color around the TV wall. So what do you think about this one? I like them both. Tom, are you favoring one or the other? So I like the one above. I kind of like the one above too. Okay, good. Okay, so let's look at the stairway loft space. That's where that bed is going to be. Uh, great idea, by the way. Right now I've painted a green. Oh, I like that. So there's one more color. Can we look at Lucy's room? Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, that's bigger than I thought. So that color on the wall, it's a pretty pale pink color. So I like the pink, but I'd love to put it into the idea book that we have on House where we sort of can see everything that we're putting in her room. I don't want to use too much pastel. Yep, yeah, that's great. I'll edit it. And I just want to make sure she has a space that can transition to when she gets older. Okay, well, you guys, this looks fantastic. I cannot wait to actually see it in person. I will be there in a few weeks. Bye. Bye. I'm finally here in Detroit. I am really excited to see everything. I've just seen all the pictures, and I'm excited to really get my hands dirty today. Hello. Okay. Guys, do you need oh, help? Hey! Yeah. Oh, good timing, <laughs> eh? <laughs> do you need help? Are you all done? Are you all oh, done? God. No, there's more to move. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I cannot believe how good it looks down here. Melissa killed it. Walking downstairs, it felt like a whole new house. And we found everything on house. It was so difficult for me, even with the pictures, to, to really picture everything, but this looks better yeah. than I expected. Does it even look like yeah, the same house? No. no, not at all. No. So different. We've got work to do. I think the family's life is hopefully going to get easier. I've got most of the weight, Tom, so you should be good. I see the kids playing down there. This is great. You can put your yeah. feet up on it. I see the boys staying out of my sister's hair for more than a minute and a half. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. I can see Lucy feeling like she has her own space, not feeling cramped by her little brothers. Our parents didn't have the purple knobs. No? That, that's an upgrade, yeah. <laughs> just for Lucy. OK, then these tables get moved on either side of the couches. Can you guys put this over here, please? Oh, Thomas. Yeah. I lived with my sister 20 years ago. I'm pretty sure I know her style, but she lives in Detroit. I live in LA. We do have different likes and dislikes, so I could be way off base here. OK, this is it. Last thing to place. Nice. <gasps> Exhausting. Uh, but we did it. Absolutely. Oh, I think Lord. Sarah's on her way. Oh, God. OK, get out of here. All right, I'm out. OK. Good luck. Good Thank luck. you. I'm nervous. OK, take a deep breath. When Kristen said I had to get out of my house for longer than I was comfortable with, I had a lot of questions and just had to be prepared for a surprise. I didn't know what was going to happen. I love it. Mm -hmm. 
you. <laughs> a little sister always looks up to her big sister, no matter what age you are. And I want her to be happy. I want to please her. I want her to think I did a good job. It's so different. Right? I love it. I love the open ceiling. I love whatever's happening next to that TV. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get into it. All of it. This is crazy. We wanted to reimagine the nook that the kids like in my house. So oh, yes. they can go into a little cave, but you have toy storage underneath. Let me show okay. you the living room. I do love it. It's very homey. It's me. Love. Obviously, we kept my very favorite painting. I kind of took a big swing here. This is a convertible pool air hockey ping pong table. They're going to love it. OK, I'm hoping that they do. <laughs> so homework desk, arts and crafts. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is crazy. Do you want to see the new bathroom? <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> oh, my gosh. I love the vanity. The vanity is amazing. Yes. Yeah, so that was the goal. OK, so I'm most excited to show you the next thing. I hope I did a good job. Oh, this is crazy. She is going to love it. This is amazing. This is awesome. Tried to update mom and dad's dresser. It looks good. She is going to love it. It looks so good. I'm so happy. So good. It. I love it. When I look around the basement, I see a lot of Kristen down here. I feel like she's put her special touch in a lot of different spots for everybody. I know you poured your heart into this for me and all of us. And thank you is not enough. I saw her face and I saw her welling up. She's always been very quiet and very calm. That was a huge reaction for her, which is exactly what I wanted. Melissa? Yeah. Do you want to come down here? Tom, yes. come down too. This is your husband, Tom. <laughs> nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How do you like it, baby? I love it. I love it. Hey. The designer, Melissa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. This is amazing. This looks really, really good. You like it? Yes. Good. I'm so relieved. I'm so happy that Sarah loves this space. I'm thrilled. There isn't one thing I said I would change, nothing. Really? Really? No. That's no. huge. Yeah. Mason, Ben are going to love the little game area for sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think the kids are going to be standing on all the furniture pieces within five minutes. If they're not, we have a problem. What? Lucy, are you crying? <laughs> and Lucy's going to think that this whole basement is Lucy's. OK, open them. <laughs> it's mine. It's your mine. <laughs> no brother. <laughs> so cool. This is her apartment, and you can come in if you have to. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy. We deserve it. I could immediately tell that she loved it. Hi, guys. Hi. Do you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. I have wanted to do something like this for my sister and her family for a very long time. I cannot believe this is finally over. This was such a crazy whirlwind. Sarah, I'm so honored to be able to give this to you because you really, really deserve it. And we all love you very much. Thank you. I love you. Cheers. 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 To my sister, thank you for all that you've done. I'm forever grateful. It's a huge change for the family, and I never would have been able to pull it off without House. With this great technology that let us share all of this designing between Michigan and California, hopefully it'll feel like a sort of new beginning, and who knows, maybe they'll have more kids.